talking about a tougher bottom guy than we were before. So this time, where we're going to be, here in our legs, on our base, just like that. Uh, what we're going to try and do, though, is hand fight with him a little bit. And right here, it'll go for, you know, this works for trying to get your half or a guillotine or a lot of different moves. So as soon as you start trying to grab this wrist, what a lot of bottom guys will do is they'll bury it right there in their crotch. And when they do that, you're not able to do anything with it. A lot of times their goal is to bury it into the crotch, then sit to the hip and work from there. So when I start reaching for this wrist, however it may be, he's going to bury it in his crotch right there. So what I'm going to do here is ease off the pressure from his top of his back, put it down here to the middle of his back, as I grab his wrist with the same arm. So his left wrist, I'm grabbing with my left hand. From here, there's going to be a little bit of space right here between his body and his arm. Dig in between there, and then lift it like a, like a dumbbell curl, basically. That's the same position you'd be in right here as a dumbbell curl. So key factor right here, this elbow stays in his back. As soon as it gets here, I have no more pressure in his back. I can't hold him up at all. But from here, when I have that, there's a pivot in his back. So that's where all my pressure is going to. And on top of that, you're digging your elbow into his back, which most people don't like that either. So from here, all we're going to do is we're going to drive off diagonally across this shoulder as we elevate his body over here on this side. So, right there, get your knee under him. And again, as soon as he turns away, straighten that leg, we'll get it back. Right here, your legs in real quick one more time. You start grabbing that wrist, going for it. Hand fighting a little, he takes it away. You reach under, get your uh, Torello locked up. From here, driving off the back foot across his shoulder while you're elevating. <clears throat> he tries to roll into you, straighten your arm across his chest. If he tries to roll away from you, pull on that elbow. From here, you're in very good position to hold out a lot of seconds and get your uh, five count here. And uh, as soon as he gets off his back again, pull yourself back on top of your leg ride. And the good thing coach is doing, well, after he gets his near ball, you know, that's not really a pitting situation. He's letting kind of loose of his grip to, to guide me to roll over to my belly. So he's kind of feeding me to my belly so he can get the legs and put it back in. He's not just holding it there the whole time. Once you get your near ball, you know, you're not going to get a pin. Okay, you want him to belly down. You don't want him to roll on top of you. So you kind of loosen that grip that allows me to belly down on purpose so he can put the legs back in. So he's, he's t guiding me where to go so he can keep wrestling and keep the legs in. Exactly. That all makes sense to everyone? All right, let's try it on three then. One, two, three. <laughs> 